guys to go get one of these knives. It is a one-handed pocket knife that takes razor blades. That it is slick because it only takes one hand to use. This hand can be busy doing something, holding you up, ready to go back in your pocket or wherever you're gonna have it. Little push button right there, super handy. Okay, so what I like to use, cause you always have your knife on you to clean these grout lines, is you place it like this. Take the blade flat, like this. See how it makes a little corner? So you come across right here, start down here, flip it. So that spot right there is down a quarter inch now, ready to receive some grout. How about this guy right here? Sometimes you want to flatten it down, take the top off, create a groove, flip it. Keep it high at first. Then you just corner down. Take this corner right here, just come down on that side. It's gonna dig that side off. See how it's down below the surface now? Same thing. Little sponge action right there and you're ready for grout. Let's say you're using a clip system. You got some clips that you need to dig out. Works for that too. So you got some you got some mud that trapped in the lower end of your clip on your leveling system. Same deal. It just slices those clips in half. Good to go. A lot of people think that they need to dig all of that mud out of that grout line. You don't. It's it's set up, it's mortar, it's gonna be hard. All you need to do is get about, oh, about an eighth inch of grout right on top of it, and you're good. You don't wanna see any of that mortar sticking through your grout when you're grouting. So just take it down an eighth inch. That's a super easy way. You don't need any special tools. Uh, you may go through a, a blade if you got a ton, like, if you got a ton like the room behind me to clean and you got a lot of messy spots, you're gonna go through about three blades. Right here we're using really loose mud because we're trying to get some good bend on these long one foot by five foot planks. So when that happens, you get a lot of squish through. On these ones, I'll come through on one side and then I'll come through on the other side and it'll get rid of that high spot. Then you go back to that triangle technique. And then you go ahead and hit it with the hit it with the sponge and you'll be ready to go. It's pretty fast big old goober of mud like that and you're like oh my gosh what am i gonna do but really it ain't that big a deal when you got a trick like that 